thoughts on original Buddhism? Um, well, 99% of those of you who talk about Buddhism, especially the one who's saying, the, the, the moron who is saying, how can you talk about suffering and not talk about Buddhism? Very, very easily. Buddhism is very, very far from the be-all and end-all when it comes to suffering. And in fact, the mere fact that you are posturing like that tells me that you know next to nothing about Buddhism and its many different flavors. Um, the Western understanding of Buddhism is almost uniformly incorrect and embarrassingly bad. Um, it's kind of funny, especially because the way that the, the, the reason that most Westerners are drawn to Buddhism is because it's a way for them to feel that they're being spiritual without having to deal with Christianity. But the more that you learn about the various flavors of Buddhism, you know, the difference between Tibetan Buddhism and the Japanese flavors of Buddhism and, you know, um, you know, I very much doubt that those of you who are uh, interested in Buddhism spend much of your day chanting the name of the Amida Buddha in order for you to reach salvation. Um, you know, remember, I'm an East Asian studies major. I actually lived in Japan for six months. I've actually been to a number of Buddhist shrines there. Um, and you know, I'm not an expert on Buddhism by any stretch of the imagination, but I do know enough about it to know that almost everybody in the West who starts babbling about Buddhism doesn't actually know anything about it. Sam Harris knows nothing about Buddhism. He's not a Buddhist in any way, shape, or form. Um... Alex Loft says, my only problem with Trump is that he seems to be in the Zionist pocket. Yeah, that is troubling. Um, at least he seems to be against the Bolshevist Jewry. That is true. Would you consider having Chris Lagan, the CTMU high IQ guy, as a contributor for Unauthorized, if he asked? I've already had communication with somebody that is in his organization about him possibly uh, doing a book with us sometime. So I'd be very open. I mean, I, I like... Uh, what Chris is doing. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, you know, a, a lot people always think of Buddhists as being peaceful and that sort of thing. It's totally false. Absolutely false. The, the Buddhists, for example, in M Myanmar are extremely militant. Um, in the tale of Genji, one of the big uh, fears is that the the monks are always coming down from the hills and pillaging the towns. Um, there's a, a fairly famous battle in Japan. Um, a, a famous general from the Japanese medieval period is famous because he went and wiped out the stronghold of the most militarized warrior monks. And it was, it was a huge battle. Um, you know, I mean, there were, there were, uh, if I recall correctly, there were hundreds, if not thousands of dead killed in the battle. You know, they had to, to put together a major army just to be able to match forces with the Buddhist monks. And so, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's very, it's very silly listening to most Westerners talk about Buddhism.